Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of my favorite motorhomes of all time. Not just about the brand or the category, but just all time number one badass in an awesome motorhome. This is the 2024 Integra Coach Accolade Model 37M. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Before we start the video, I wanna tell you about two RV shows. First, November 9th through the 12th in Tampa, Florida is the Tampa RV Fall Show. I personally will not be there this year, but General RV will be there this year. So if you guys attend the show and you see an RV that you like wanna buy, make sure you ask for Matt's cash so we give you the best price in America. But then the same day, November 11th, which is Saturday, I will be in Huntley, Illinois at the General RV. So if you live in Chicago or around the Illinois area, make sure you guys visit me I'm doing a meet and greet big sale at the Huntley, Illinois store. We're going to have a free food truck, amazing sale prices and everything. Can't wait to see you guys in Huntley, Illinois. And I'm sorry I missed everybody at the Tampa show, but we are going to have phenomenal prices at both locations and online. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited to be showing you guys. Definitely in my top five favorite motorhomes period of all time. Definitely number one in the Super C category, the Accolade. Before I begin. And before I say hi to Andrea, you guys are going to want, because I love this motorhome so much, I put this on such a high pedestal, you're not going to want to see my likes. You're not going to want to miss my likes and dislikes for this motorhome, because I'm going to be a little extra critical of this video. Before I begin, got to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. I am super excited, as always. Um, super C's are awesome. Yes. And anytime we get to look at them, it's a pleasure. Always. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's begin. Model is Integra Coach Accolade 37M. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet 4 inches. Andre, you see that? I don't even have my phone in my hand. I already know because I love this motorhome so much. This uh, does sit on the Freightliner S2 RV chassis. It's an ISB 640 or 660 Cummins with 800 pound feet of torque. This motorhome is America badass and awesome. Love the Cummins engine and that what sits above that, Andrea, is the bunk over the cab. Uh, notice how it's, se it's a seamless fiberglass front cap as in the seam is underneath, so it's less likely to leak that way and you have that awesome front windshield. Andrea, there's two reasons why you want a super seat. Period and a story. One, you need to tow eight, nine, 10, 12,000 pounds and this baby can do it and it will make it a more enjoyable towing experience. And number two, America, cause it's awesome, you know? People always ask me, they're like, well, I want a Super C or I'm looking at a Class A diesel. The Class A diesel is the better choice. It's gonna give you more space, it's gonna be a better ride, but this just looks cool. You know what I'm saying? And looks does matter, <laughs> especially when it comes to Freightliner. And then look at these tires, Dre, out there the Michelins. 275-80R, 22.5, very nice. Look at this, you have these big industrial style chrome mirrors on both sides. You have these fiberglass steps right here and you have to climb into this chassis. This is awesome. And you know there's an air horn there. And Andrea, guess what? What? Did you guys know the Wixom dealerships closed on Sundays? I did not know. We did not know and we're here on a Sunday, so. um. We're gonna blast that air horn when we oh, go inside because sure. <laughs> we have nobody to disturb today. We do have cameras on both sides, frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome, a huge full wall slide, Andre, and look at that awesome power awning with LED lights, and you have a door awning right there. This is gonna be awesome. Coming on down here, we have these very nice uh -oh. aluminum slam latch doors. Oh, not my favorite. And, uh oh, it's right. Carpet Andrea. in the storage. New year. I'm waiting to see some new things, and they didn't change that. I guess, you know what it is? I guess our viewers just aren't commenting enough on I the know, videos. I know, Come on, guys. You guys commented enough, and that's how we got the uh, piano hinges added. I think we need to get rid of this carpet here. Right here, Andrea, nice big insignia TV, radio, sound system, power, and everything. 
Very nice. Good storage. It is good storage though. Coming on down here, we do have propane. And Miss Jennifer, if you could, bing, put all the specifications about this motor home so everybody can see who's watching on television. Right over here. See, I like this storage. This is good. Right. And you know what? It kind of makes that storage a little bit better because if you have like your, anything that's a little wet, you can just put it back here. Very nice. I just would have liked to see that throughout the whole motor home. Coming around the back, Andre, we do got a 12,000 pound hitch. This motor home can tow 12,000 pounds. Nice fiberglass rear cap, looks fantastic. Backup camera there. There is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. And this motor is just beautiful. Right here, water heater, painted, okay. Right here, you got the Onan 8000 diesel generator. Check out this awesome wet bay right here. Paper towel holder, place to dump your tanks, flushes and everything, super duper nice with the water purifier. Fuel fill up. Yes, ma'am, right there. And then coming on down. Yes, 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. I love that, big shout outs Integra. That's huge for us. Especially when you're at this level of the motorhome, you know what I'm saying? And then over here is just the other side of that storage. Here's a gray tank dump right there. And then that, okay, I was about to say, that doesn't look like it's supposed to be exposed. And it's not. It looks like we were just working on it and we had it unplugged or a... Uh, the panel. Yes, the panel. Up. And then to wrap it all up, Ooh, we got your batteries battery right here. battery bank on a Mori tray. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Why don't you go around? I'm going to climb up in this bag. And that there is where you put your DEF. Yes, and the cargo carrying capacity, 6,604 pounds. I'll meet you on the inside. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm coming in. And let's do a turn around. Hi, Matt. Come on back up here once you look through the whole motor. Yes. Home. All right. So we have opposing slides. Um, it's a little walkway. So it's doable, but it is little. It opens up a lot right here. You can definitely open the fridge. There is the bathroom and the master bedroom, which looks like it's a tilt a bed. Okay. Let's go up here. All right, Matt. I hear it. It's purring. This bad boy's a bad boy. Get out of our way. When you're driving down the road, Andrea, you're in the freight liner. We just got low air right now. It's, re it's regenerating its air. But we're about to use all of that air in just a moment. 360 Cummins. <laughs> you're not camping. You're, you're trucking. You're camping. You're trucking. You know? This is awesome. You got the air suspension in the back. Andre, this is just a bad motor home. And let me tell you something. RVers get no respect on the road. Everybody always cuts, passes them up and passes cuts them and cuts you. And let me tell you something. You're not passing a freight liner because you're flying <laughs> down that highway. But if little George cuts you off, well, you remind him that you're in the Integra Accolade. Hell nice. yeah. America. Andrea, we got to get these slide out open. And let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So 
So if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Just like that, we got the slide outs open and this bedroom is spacious. You got a ton to love about this floor plan. It is awesome, very nice. Nice kitchen area, opposing slides. And again, I was just in the cockpit area. I do wanna add, you got your window rollers, Allison transmission, your auto leveling right there, air brake, cup holders. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's super comfortable. Yes. I love this, I love being up here. Oh yeah. I like the SR2 chassis. Yes. You know, you have all that space right there that you can see. For sure. But yeah, it's definitely very comfortable. I love the, the air seats. Yes, ma'am. And yeah, I mean, we got some some little storage up here for like maps, sunglasses, cup holders. Yes, and then above Andrea, we have a very nice bunk over the cab, holds 750 pounds. And let me show you this. Just like that, you got the motorized shade. So nice. You got storage on both ends, privacy curtain here cup holders there and everything. This is a fantastic motorhome. And then as you come into the door, you got a little coat closet right there. That's very nice. You got your lights, your inverter right there. And then over here, we got theater seats. Now these look comfortable. I will sit in them in just a moment. But first, I want to show everybody. Andre, how do you like this cabinetry? It's definitely different this year. It's different. It's okay. Okay. Very nice. Nice cabinetry. Like, it's like kind of a natural look. I like it. Yep. Nice hidden hinges right there. Very strong. And then check out these valances. Andrea? I don't know. It's like a roof. Bing! Oh, Andrea. <laughs> Did I get you? You got me too. I was like, what do you um, mean you don't know? They're cute. You like them? Yeah, they're cute. Okay. I, I give it to them, Integra. Okay. Right over here, we do have theater seats. We also have daytime blinds and privacy blinds. And then right here, we do have their, um, when the generator's on, the seat reclines. You got your cup holders here and your storage right here. And Andrea, you know what I was just thinking? What's that? You know what? I don't say enough to the viewers. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I know we say it, but like, it just sounds like we're not saying it. Guys, without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. So that's why we're willing to come to Wixom on a Sunday when nobody's <laughs> here to film these awesome videos for you guys. And again, you guys aren't going to want to miss my likes and dislikes. Not for this video. Not for a motorhome that I really do love. But uh, directly across, not directly across, but kind of adjacent, adjacent. is the... Televator! Yes, ma'am. Nice TV on a Televator. We do have tons of storage there. This TV goes up and then it does drop down. There's also power and USB right there. And then we have a very nice sofa here, Andrea. This... It looks looks like it has the pullout. I'll show everybody in just a second. And then there is cup holders there in the sofa. Oh, just I like, like all that. the seating in here. Okay, it just jackknifes down. Okay. Oh no no no, it is a tri pullout. Okay, so it's, it's a, a tri pullout from the bottom. Not a tri fold, but a tri pullout. Okay. Yep. And then over here, Andre, I love the big windows. Very nice dinette. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. Notice how there's seat belts in this dinette. The dinette sits a little lower. I personally don't mind that. And again, with your guys' feedback, when we look under this to see if there's storage, one, we know there is, but two, we also know that there's piano hinges. Because of your feedback, Integra added them. And hopefully, Integra listens to us. About the carpet in the storage. <sighs> I gotta say, I like the lights though. Yes. I mean, usually I'm not into big lights, but they just got a nice modern take on them with the, the rectangle. Okay. And then there is a car seat tether there on the dinette. Yes. And then over here, Andrea, 
Really nice wardrobe space here. Not wardrobe, but storage space. A little tabletop there. Tabletop? Not tabletop. What would you, what would you <laughs> call that? Backsplash? Backsplash. On like, the mantle? Mantle, yeah. Little mantle there. Little little Mickey mantle there. And a nice Furion 40 inch fireplace. That fireplace does produce heat from electricity. Andrea, show us this kitchen. All right. Let's start over here with this cabinet. Talk to me. Uh, I like the window here. Nice big window. We have this for like spices. Sugar spice and everything nice. Solid surface countertop. Yes. And then we've got a place for sponges. Okay. I don't know why they do those still. We got drawers. And then let's see what kind of sink we have. Okay, we've got a nice residential style sink here. Love it. With the extension. Yes, love it. And let's see what's underneath. We've got good storage for a trash can. Wow. Above we have the high point convection microwave yes two burner induction furion cooktop okay back here another place for spices yes under we got more storage okay oh look at this this is cute oh nice yeah wait let me get this one i want to see how big this one is. they're kind of hard to open let me see uh-oh there we go very good all right and then they close and then next to me i have the big residential GE refrigerator with the um, ice maker water purifier. Nice. Great size. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Oh, hang on. Oh. Keep it open. Love this fridge. Oh, and you can get the ice and the water from your fridge. Andrea, you can't get this in these. These are very I know. nice. I haven't seen it. And then here, I guess, you know, you could have the uh, stackable washer dryer or you know, combo 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 washer dryer prep. And it is like a wardrobe. So it's very, very nice. You have to use it like as a pantry. Yeah, I'd say that there, or no, this was the pantry up here. Oh, yeah. yeah. This would be the pantry space Good here. Good idea, yeah. Let me see that. So I was going to say, that definitely wouldn't mm. have been the pantry. Yeah, definitely. And they should have designed it with shelves right. for sure. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. Ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here is $346,080. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, we have it 25% off to a sale price. Oh, by the way, 25% off is the lowest we're allowed to advertise of 2024. To a sale price of only $259,995. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. But guess what? I know we can get everybody an even better price than that all you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us, please. And a member of our team will help everybody get the absolute best price on this Integra Accolade or any Integra coach nationwide. Florida, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Michigan, Utah, in every region, in between the next two, I promise you guys we will make it worth your while because we like to sell volumes of Integras, not make volumes on each Integra. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Let's check out this bathroom. Nice Very bucket nice. door. There's uh, antifreeze in here, so I'm not going to step in it. Huge shower, Andrea. This looks like it's a 36 by 42, but I'm going to call it a 36 by 36. The step's not bad. Regardless, it's a fantastic size. I'm loving this. Right over here, porcelain toilet. Hmm. Can you all uh, undo that for me? <sighs> you know what, Andrea? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna give it a prime poop position, but I'm not gonna fail it either. I really could give it to them, um, but I don't, but it's, it's just net neutral. It's a good prime poop. It's a good position. Right here, a little bit of storage underneath the sink. Okay. Nice solid surface countertops in the sink as well. In liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, pick up a bottle at primepoopposition.com. Thank you to everybody who's been buying it and supporting our small business. We appreciate you. And nice now we have the lavender cabinet. scent. Yes, we have the and, lavender scent. And easy to drop in tabs. You can see all of them on our website. Wow. Andrea. 
Good bathroom. Good bathroom, definitely. And again, yeah, it stinks a little bit that it's not like a prime poop position, but it's not not a prime poop position. But again, that shower totally makes up for I it. I like the white too. Yes, me too. Coming on into the bedroom, we have storage here. Nice wardrobe. Very nice storage Other here. Other side. Storage. storage. Yep. And the TV. And then looks like you've got like three drawers down there. Okay. And then we have the tilt -a bed over here, the king size. King size tilt -a bed right here. Because of that, you have a little place to sit and tie your shoes. You do have two end tables there with storage in them. You show that. USBs on both sides. And then take a look at that storage above there. Yes, we got two cabinets over there. Yes. Other side as well has a nightstand. Yes. No storage underneath because it is a tilt -a bed oh, Correct. But again, other than that, Andre, this amazing motorhome. But that's it, and that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, you're going to want to know the three things that we love about this motorhome and the three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Matt, I want to do the dislikes. And normally, I would 100% agree with okay. you. Okay. Not on this one. All right. Because on accolades, we always end on a positive note because I love me an accolade. Not in today's episode. Uh-oh. We're going to do the likes first and get okay. them out of the way. First thing I love about this motorhome, I don't like the tilt-up bed, but I do love how spacious this bedroom is. The opposing slide-out's fantastic. I love how they made it this seat here, and to have a king-size bed, I do love that about this motorhome. That is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Um, all right. So, like number two for me is going to be, I'm going to say the bunk over the cab. Talk to me. The bunk over the cab is very special. You don't have that in a lot with that window, and it does hold 750 pounds. Yes. So, it's also a lot more spacious when you're sitting up there, even as an adult. So, that's my like. Great. And then, Andrea, like number three for me is going to be just the whole floor plan. The 37M is a great floor plan. I love these opposing slides. I do, of course, love the Freightliner chassis. I think this is an awesome motorhome in everything about the layout I love. Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. You go with number one, and I will wrap it up with number two and number three. Okay, so my dislike is, Matt called this a pantry. I don't think this is a pantry. Um, I'm, this is my dislike. I need a designated pantry. Talk to me. Um, if this is supposed to be the pantry, I think it should have more shelves or something. But yeah, that's, that's a big dislike for me. Okay, that's dislike number one. Andrea, we're going outside. Follow me. Dislike number two, America, is this storage. The well, one, it's not the storage on the outside. I love the amount of storage. I love these same latch doors, Andrea. But this carpet in here has to go. I am not a fan of it whatsoever. And the new Accolade XTs put that black diamond plate in there. And I would love to see that in this motorhome. That is. I'll, oh, I can barely get that. That is dislike number two. Yes. And then dislike number three, we're going out here. And you don't even know where we're going. You're probably going to surprise me on this one. I'm going to surprise everybody. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Andre, okay, stand right here, please. Okay. This paint job is wop wop. The interior design, look at me, is wop wop. I don't like it whatsoever. Look at that. And I'm like, hey, maybe it was just this color scheme. Look at that accolade. With the blue. Oh, with the blue. You know what I say about that paint job? Beautiful. Wap, wap. No. I do not like them whatsoever. They're very, so first and foremost, I want people to understand. Your opinion, your opinion and my opinion, since we're not spending our money, it doesn't really <laughs> matter, right? This is not what I want in a super seat. And that interior design. It's a little conservative. Wap, wap. Very conservative. And don't get me wrong. Nothing's wrong with conservative right. looking paint jobs and simpler schemes. But this is an accolade. Yeah. I want it to be bold. I want it to be badass. Exclamation point. Hell yeah. Super C. Look, if you put this on a Vision XL or an Aspire or, or an Vision. Anthem or a Vision, any of them, I, I'm totally fine with the paint job. But this is America. This is Freightliner. With that said, I would love to hear your comments down below. Get a look, good look at this paint job, Andrea. Do you guys like this maroon paint job and that blue paint job color scheme? Because for me, I'm not liking this. It just, and again, it looks good. It looks good. I'm not saying that. 
but I don't want good. I want freaking great, amazing, awesome. I want bold and thick and badass. You know what I'm saying? I want super. I want people to say, "Whoa!" When you're driving down the road in a super seat. What is that? What is that? You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just my opinion of the paint job. Again. It's very easy for me to give an opinion when I'm not giving you a uh, a check at the same time. Love to hear everybody's feedback. And just so everybody knows, we don't have any Integra um, Accolade XLs because if they did this with the Accolade XL, I'll be very disappointed. But the Accolade XL is an even more aggressive looking paint job. So there still might be hope when we get an XL sitting on the dealership's lot. But Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's what I will say. Even with all that said, I still love this motorhome. Still in my top five favorites. And it's just an awesome Super C. And again, I could just be a little extra. You know why? It's tough love because I love Integra. If you guys are interested in this Integra or any Integra, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Catch. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Integra, they did watch our videos and they did read our comments. And they do. <laughs> so make sure you leave our feedback. Yeah, we really want to hear what you guys have to say. We value your opinion so much and so does the RV industry. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time.